Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video it's going to be my Air Tycoon 4 series. Now, yeah, last time, what were we doing? We were doing, were we doing MD-11s and stuff. Uh, in fact, no, AK-21s, I remember. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I last recorded. So, yes, as I did say last episode, um, we are getting close to when the 737-800 comes out and when we need to inaugurate that, so... Today what I want to do is I just, now as you can see I've got three, uh, thirteen, not three, <laughs> I've got 13 spare uh, Fokker 70s, or so just unused ones, which I bought and I was hoping to set up routes with, and then I just ran out of slots in both St. Louis and London, so today I'm just basically going to be setting up routes with them. I don't know if I'm going to be doing both places. London is sort of, uh, I don't know if there's that many places left which I can go from London. I, I can have a look, but I definitely know that there could be some more with St. Louis, but I mean, who knows, I could just be doing both of them. And so I'll be setting up routes for them. I've also got a route request, finally. I don't, I don't know why no one route requests anymore. Well, do you remember the days, if you if you were watching back then? Um, do you remember the days when I get route requests constantly and then I just had to turn it down and say, yeah, I'm gonna, you can do it, but I'm going to only do it, um, request, um, you know, do, like, whoever suggested it, like, the best one that suggested, and if there's only one suggested, then, uh, yeah, I can do it, um, Normally, so one of the route requests I've got is to go from Oklahoma City to where's Minneapolis? It's up there, isn't it? I think yes, it is. Uh, Saint Louis to Minneapolis with an AC21. Don't know if that will be profitable though. That's the question. I'm thinking it can't be the AC21. It was suggested by oh, what's his name? Our crybaby coo or whatever his name is. <laughs> Basically, it's originally he was. Milk and Cookies, then he was Pilo Nerd, then he was all sorts of names. He's changed his name a million times. Basically him. I don't know if you know him. <laughs> You'll see him in the comments. He commented a bunch of my last episode, like in full video. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go for an MD-90 on that. I know that, uh, I mean, yeah, as I said, I know that the 77800 is about to come out, but I don't think that that's going to be profitable otherwise. I really don't. Um, in fact, could I use a Fog Assembly for that? I could. I don't know. So what what is it? Because I mean, I know that the Fokker 70 it doesn't count business. So even if it's a really high business, well, Minneapolis it's got a sort of high business to 213. That's admirable. But um, it's only the it's, yeah, it's only the economy that I'm worrying about. So we've got uh, 111 on in Minneapolis. What's it like in Oklahoma City? 94. Oh, MD90. How, how, how many seats do I configure my MD90s with? I should be able to just look if I just go on here. No, not AC21s. In fact, if I just go on an MD90 route and then have a look, that would be the best thing. Uh, in fact, the St. Louis to Oklahoma, that, is that a Fokker 70? Uh, yes, it is. So I think I'm going to have to use uh, that uh, Fokker 70 route to go into there then. Uh, but let's just see... Um, uh, uh, a, uh, Let's just see an MD-90 route then. So, right, let's go from New York to, say, Columbus. That looks like an MD-90 route. It probably is. Uh, yes. So, uh, right, seats. How many seats does this have? It has uh, 130, besides things a bit. So, yes, um, I've got 130 seats on that. As I said, I think that'll be too many seats. And what does the Fokker 70 have? Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> what does the Fokker 70 have? Uh, the Fokker 70 has 74, well, <laughs> hence the name Fokker 70. You know, I actually managed to get a picture, I went plane spotting yesterday at the time of recording, and tomorrow Jeff I managed to get a picture of Fokker 70, and the co-pilot opened his window and waved us. <laughs> I say ask because I don't came with me, but, <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just hit the wire, and then also been sniffing. I don't know why, I've, I've been sniffing for the last two weeks, pretty much ever since I came back from Mallorca, I think, uh, <laughs> And my body's still trying to get used to uh, the British weather, even though I've lived here all my life. So, yes, anyway, uh, we'll do that then. So, I, yeah, as I think by the looks of it, we'll just use Fox Hunt with that. So, anyway, <laughs> let's just get right into setting up our roots of the Fox Hunt then.
have to go from London as well, but apparently I didn't because... <laughs> yeah, so there's plenty of routes were from St. Louis that I managed to do. In fact, I did all of them apart from the one I set up. So, right, Fogger 70s. We've all got, I've got all four of them now in service. So we need to go down. Well, okay. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> right out of the bottom. That's when we set them up. And in fact, it's right from the Minneapolis route. So we went from Minneapolis to Oklahoma City, the one that was suggested uh, by Crabby Riku. Uh, then we went from St. Louis to Jackson, San Antonio, Mont Montgomery, Tallahassee, Tal I think. <laughs> Elko, Thunder Bay, Sacramento, Augusta, Belize City, Port Al Prince, I think. <laughs> Savannah and Kennywick. Poor our prince was like, oh, oh that was in the like, um, IET, I think. Because I mean, I was just having a look at, um, I was having a look at some places in the Caribbean and I found Belize City. Because I've been looked at Cancun, which I think in fact Atlanta Graf's been there. But yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of places I've seen from St. Louis, which I can be hooking up with the AK21 at some point. But yes, that's um. That'll be something for another day. So we are going to start going down in province now because we're just going out in September. But hopefully by Christmas uh, we should start seeing uh, the huge effect by this. I mean, we're still making 570 million and we're in September. We just came out of September. Uh, and I think that that uh, sharp decrease in passengers would probably have gone down further if we didn't set up those routes. I'm sure it was probably... I don't know, it probably would have been over 300,000 and then we've just managed to uh, eat into that bit. So we set up 13 routes. We now have 355 routes. Good yeah, grief above. Oh, we've got the 777-300 as well. We've got World Cup in France in June. Um, we've got World Exhibition in Portugal in May. <laughs> Those things happening. Why does the game keep on doing this? It's October and it keeps on saying things from November. <laughs> No idea. Yeah, we've got the 777-300. That 777-300, as I did say, will be the main aircraft we will be using. Um, oh, this will be probably after we put in the 777-200s. I want to get the MD-11s out of service before we start introducing that because the symbol 7400s, I mean, we put them in, in uh, they're only, they're not even 10 years old yet. They're getting on 10 years, but they're still not 10 years old yet. So I don't think we should be inaugurating the, uh, the 777-300 just yet. I know that it was, I think Cathay Pacific was the one that took delivery of it because there's a picture of a 777-300 landing at Kai Tak in like the last year of operation of it. <laughs> it ended service in, I, I think it must have ended service in 1998 because uh, Kai Tak closed, uh, oh, I think it was the 5th of July 1998. So yes, that's um, pretty interesting. Uh, so yes, right, uh, I was going to say, have we got any more planes that need putting in? No, I were all. We do not. So, hmm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as I said, right. So, once we have put in these MD90s uh, with the 77 800s, uh, I'm pretty sure that the MD11 will probably go out of production. So, the second what we've done then, we'll have to start saving up to replace the MD11s because I, I just don't think that we're going to be able to set up routes. I really don't because as much as I want to try and do this in as massive go as I can, I will... I know that I'm not going to be able to because look how many MD-11s we have. It's it's the second most used aircraft in the whole airline. The only one that surpasses it is the AC-21. Look, so we've got 76 planes to replace. Uh, how old are they? And they shouldn't be uh, more than uh, 10 years old. Yeah, look at that. Most of them aren't even that old. So uh, in fact, should we just renovate them? That's a good question. I'm just going to see how much it is because I've got seven billion right now, and I want to be saving out right now so then we can get as many some of these M. Uh, seven, uh, 800 that we can. Uh, so, jeez. <laughs> Is that really a billion? Let's go, I'm going to do it. And I just want these to have as high satisfaction as possible. <laughs> I don't think I've ever spent that much money on renovating aircraft. Good God above. How many did we do? I think it said like 53 planes or something like that, so I didn't do all of them. Uh, yeah, I went down to the ones that... Well, it looks like there was a cut-off there. Uh, oh, that that was when we started doing the London routes. That was um, and the cut-off point is, but still, yeah. Look, I mean, <laughs> there's just so many that um, there's so many routes that we put in. I mean, we uh, the last time we put some was only a few episodes ago. So yeah, as I said, these will be uh, being phased out uh, soon with the triple seven. I think that let me just have a look at the triple seven. How many seats does this have? We just got renovation. Uh, it has three hundred and one seats. Let's actually have a look at the 777. Let's configure the 777-200 just to see how many seats it has and then I can gauge uh, how much uh, up or down it will go. I believe it will go up the amount of passengers. So uh, over the MD-11, let's, uh, let's compare it over the MD-11. Uh, so 
Uh, it's got 30 more seats or maximum seats. It's slightly faster. It's got a lot more range. That's 7.2. What's the dribble 7 uh, in efficiency? It is 8.0. So yes, this is a massive increase in efficiency. A lot higher satisfaction. A lot more range. That pr should probably mean then that we don't actually have to have the upgraded MB11 because I think on the I think it's on the Kuala Lumpur route. I actually I had to. Um, renovate it because it was only just out of range so I think that this uh, aircraft should have enough range to do that if not we can still upgrade it so yes anyway let's just have a look at that then and so apparently I'll configure it with 313 seats there'll be a slight increase so uh, right can I put that down any further nope I just want to check this in fact I might should I wait I just had a thought, should I wait until the 21st century to do this? Because I don't want to be buying these planes, they'll be in service for two years, and then I won't be able to renovate them, because I'd have to do them one by one, and I've got 76, and I don't really want to be this uh, renovating 76 aircraft, because that'll take forever. That is actually a very good point. The thing is, I don't know why the game has that setting that you can only renovate under 60% satisfaction. I think that you should just be able to renovate all of them, like, just at the same time if you wanted to. So uh, there'd be none of it. So if you wanted to change your configuration on all of them, and it was above 60%, you couldn't do that. But if it was under 60%, you could. So I think that I am going to have to wait then. So the MD-11s are going to be in service until the 21st century then, but... To be honest, I don't even know when the passenger variant goes out of production in this game. I believe, in real life, it's 1998. In this game, I think it might be 2000. I don't know. I know the cargo version doesn't go out of production until like 2008 or something. Uh, yeah, that's been in production for quite a while for some reason. Even though the one in production is 2000. Do you remember the days when I used a 767? No. Yeah, I don't use that anymore. I mean, I think that. I'm gay! I think that possibly we could be replacing. Actually, I don't know. Because I was just thinking we could have replaced the DC2. In fact, no! Didn't I cut, didn't this come up before when I said that we should have replaced our DC-10s um, DC with this aircraft and it was uh, less capacity? I think that's what it came down to, but yes, that's not going to be... Um, I'm using my airline 757s on production. <laughs> I can't believe I phased this, phased, phased this out so early. <laughs> didn't I? Because I had it for like 10 years. AP-21 came out and I was like, well, I'm going to be replacing that, but... Yeah, AP-21 is going to be used for quite a long time, I should believe, so yeah, because they don't have the other 21 Neo. As I said, if they did, I will be replacing it, because, yes, the AT-21 Neo is something which I would have really liked to use, uh, so anyway, yes. And whether I've got, we've already gone through the symbols in 400s, uh, so I'm going to be replacing them, because, um, yeah, as I said, like, I should think that probably 25% of them will be replaced by A380s that we've got now. So, I'd say that, because I mean, we are going to be replacing a lot of these with the 777 Not all of these are going to be saying, I'd say we're going to have about 20 left before we go into the, uh, and get the A380 in 2007. And I've always broke then. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's going to be, it's going to be around that number. Uh, there's going to be probably about 20, 25 left. I should imagine MD11 we just talked about. Uh, MD90 we've already talked about. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know if this episode is like to talk about that. I don't know, it's interesting. So, yes, A321, as I said, this could possibly be not be replaced. I think that the only thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to buy aircraft to replace the older aircraft of the A321. Simply because, the yeah, we're going <laughs> to... Uh, yeah, they are going to get quite old in the future. So I should think probably... When did I bring this in? Like, 1994 or five. So yeah, 2015 we are going to be replacing them. Which is actually a bad thing, do you know why? Because 2015 we're going to be introducing other stuff, aren't we? Well, not the 77 Mac. We're going to be introducing A350. Hmm, okay then. So that's going to have to be a thing then that we do sometime. I think we're going to have to do that earlier then. I think we're going to have to do it after the A380. Then we're going to, like, once that's all done, we're going to have to replace our A321s, and then hopefully by that time we can get the A350 in. Because I am going to be replacing, I think I'm going to be replacing the 777-200 with the A350-1000, and um, what was I going to be using the A350-900 for? Uh, oh yeah, for replacing the, uh, or it's going to be either the A350-900 or the A330 Neo. I think it will probably be the A350-900 simply because of fleet commonality. It just uh, it determines our efficiency because there isn't like an A330 
1,000 for... <laughs> well, 1,000 a year. And again, speaking of which, AC, AC30, which is talked about now. <laughs> so, I like, I like this livery on the uh, AC30. <laughs> I don't know what it is about having like the red dip back that I have. I mean, when I just came up with that thing, I came up with that in Orange I was just like, yes, this is the best thing. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Because this has annoyed me, and it annoyed me on other airlines, so I actually changed it. I'm going to actually make the engines so they're just white. I don't care about Concorde anymore. I'm just going to make them so they're just white. Because every single time that they're not white, it just looks so weird. Because there's different parts that are coloured and different parts that aren't. I'm sure the A330 looks at the A330 just looks absolutely terrible. Let's see how that looks then. Um, 747, yeah, that looks quite nice. Uh, why did I just get rid of the whole thing? MD11. And all the engine at the back is going to be... Um, in fact, no! That doesn't actually look that bad. Because it looks like it's just going past the engine and going down there. Yeah, that's not that's not too bad. So we've got that. Uh, what else is there? MD90s. Because that only had the, 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 the only thing that was painted with it was like the front and the back or something like that. So yeah, that's... Um, looks a bit better. In fact, that kind of looks weird because of the... the uh, because the engines at uh, the back of the plane is red, and you think that they need to be painted as well. Mm. As I said, like, I wish there wasn't all of this other, it was just sketchy painting. I wish they just painted the whole engine. Because, like, they do it on some aircraft, and on the others, they're just like, we're just going to miss parts of it. Why? Why are you missing parts of it? It just looks so weird. Uh, Matthew 21, yeah, that looks fine. Uh, next plane, AQ30, let's see how that looks now, uh, after I've now changed it. Uh, yeah, that looks quite good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I mean, it's not exactly so great, but I mean, it's just the best way it's going to look without it just being so bad because you've got. Uh, the, yeah, because it's not all painted and it looks really weird. A uh, Concord, that's going to look terrible now, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> of course it is, of course it is. Uh, yeah, as I said, I am going to be getting rid of this basically when it runs out of lifespan. This one's got 181 months. Um, what's the age of the oldest one? 110. So they've just gone past 10 years old, uh, and the, I think these were the last ones I put in. Um, there must have been quite a few episodes ago. But yeah, I am gonna just going to be replacing this because, I don't know, as much as they do offer some quite cool routes, and I mean, I do have quite a few of them, there just isn't aircraft to replace it with. It simply is an aircraft to replace it with. It has 100 passengers, it's got high schedules a week. What are you going to replace it with? You can't really... Like, what aircraft can I do in this, like, upgrade, like an, I don't know, an A320 Neo, which, which I don't know if someone will actually do that. In fact, I could. I could do that. You see, when, when is that going to come in? I'm going to have to replace that. So, uh, maybe I could do the 77-800. Maybe. Maybe. Or the 77-900. Maybe. <laughs> That's a very big maybe. So, yeah, I'll just have to look into that later on. So I've got the Fokker 70 as well. In fact, that, doesn't, that looks better now, yeah, because uh, before they were in, that looked kind of weird, but uh, yes, now it looks okay. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that I've painted that front bit as well. I don't really like that. For me, you might, I think because that way that is now, because the engines are white, that's pretty cool, but they should just get that little uh, bit that is poking out, like, that bit there. <laughs> I think they should just, yeah, just um, make that bit white. I, I wish there was more customization in the form that you could do with liveries, because as much as there is... A, Sort of customization, it's not exactly the greatest. And to, and to be honest, I think I might be changing my livery uh, soon anyway, because I came up with a cool design, uh, not on Norwich Airways, on this, uh, basically this one called Air, Air UK, not the real Air UK, I just called it AUK.com to distinguish it. Uh, but it was a uh, pretty cool, I'd imagine. And uh, yeah, those, those Fokker 70s are going to be replaced by the Embraer e jets. Uh, it's going to be replaced by the, I think, is it the 190? I think it's a 190. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do like KM City Hopper out at the moment. <laughs> I'm gonna do the uh, 190, or I could do the 195. It just depends. I think the 190 will be the best for this, and just to get them all out of service. But I mean, I just wanted to use the Vogue 70 right now, just because it's a low capacity aircraft, which is 6.4 efficiency. I bet there's something better. I bet there's something better. We're just gonna have a look now, and it's gonna be like the CRJ, which is massively efficient, isn't it? Right. We've got these. I know they're two low passengers, and even though they are slightly more efficient, they are two low passengers. Russian aircraft we're not looking at, and it's literally just Fokker aircraft. That's wrong. I'm sorry, that's wrong. The Fokker 70 was in production after the Fokker 100. That is definitely wrong. 
definitely got... Hang on a second. Why is the Fokker 100, which came out before the Fokker 70, why does it have higher efficiency than the Fokker 70? <laughs> Seems backwards to me, whatever. Yeah, there isn't really any other alternative apart from that 77300, which I don't really want to use. So yes, yeah, so it's really nothing. I think that's about the best that we can do until we can replace it with Embraer Aegis. In fact, we could replace it. We we could do Fokker 70, replace that with Embraer Aegis when it gets around to that, and then replace Embraer Aegis with the, the C series, probably the C100, CS100. That's quite a good thing. I, I just think the um. A310, the A310s, I don't know what to call it there, really, like there, it's not really exactly the great plane, is it? Like, But Airbus basically went and said, we're going to downsize the A330, and then no one bought it. <laughs> no one really bought it, so, anyway, let's just have a look at our uh, investment. I just I just want to keep on top of a lot of these. And let's put another one on the, uh, should we put another one on this one cost? I don't know, that will probably impact our profits, I should think, but to be honest, if we're going to be replacing a bunch of these aircraft, like, I just, I think we just need more investment costs starting on the service level, really, because remember when I used to have nothing with that. Which one is pretty low? Uh, in North America, it seems like, well, that probably costs an absolute ton to do. Yes, it does, and Europe is as well. Um, should I just keep that how it is? Oceania, I just put up because I'm pretty much going nowhere with that. And South America, can I put that to a fight? Oh, yes, I can. What about Asia? We could try that. Africa? I don't know. Not five, Jesus. Only four. Europe is probably out of the question because of the London route. Oh, God, yes. North America. Oh, God, yes! <laughs> yeah, right. That sort of, we're going to spend a little bit more on that, but hopefully I should drag in a few more passengers. Yeah, get uh, get this up, uh, I don't need to worry about the uh, salaries because it's literally at fault now, so... <laughs> That's how many routes and uh, yeah, how much staff I've been hiring, so... Yeah, so anyway, uh, what is this? Ooh, never noticed this before. There's an airport thing, I always wonder what that did. What's that one? So got this one. What's the top one? I think the t it's the top. I think the top one's the one with the airports that we bought. Why are these red? I think I might be how close we are to. Oh look, it's how close we are to the uh, um, losing slots. So for the look at it, look, this is all nice for profit. I am making more in London than anywhere else. Okay. <laughs> That's something which surprised me, but apparently I am. So anyway, yes. Uh, will that be the end of this episode here? I think so. <laughs> It's probably shorter than usual again. I know that I've been. I'm trying. I'm trying to recall these for longer, but I don't know. There's nothing to do unless I do more time lapses. And what's going on with that airport button? I don't know. I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> really am. So yeah, that'll be the end of this episode here. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. You just have to that one as well. Bye. <laughs>